Hey everyone, welcome back to another Monday plan with me. So for this week, I'm just going to use a kit from my shop and you will have seen this one before. And then just in case you haven't, I'm just going to give you a quick flip through. I also have these were either countdown stickers or date covers from Leah's Planner Pretties. So I'm going to be using those as well as these two rolls of washi. One's a really wide gold foiled and the other one is a thinner one with Christmas baubles on. So I'm starting with the wide washi first and I've extended it right to the edge of the page like it was last week because I really liked how that looked. And my cat will keep coming into frame here. He was being so mischievous on this day, I had to go and lock him in the kitchen. So I'm just putting the bulbul washi along the top there just to cover up the date covers. Then I'm going to take the washi that comes with the kit with the gingerbread houses on and I'm just going to put them at the bottom. And because the background is white, it can't you can't tell that I've extended the washi upwards because it blends in with the planner. So I'm just going to put the date covers along the top and then use the date dots that I showed you from Leah, Pran Leah Planner Pretties, that's really hard to say, um, along the top. Now for some reason, bizarre reason, I'd started in my sidebar. I've never started in my sidebar before and it kind of threw me off. I don't know what I was doing or why I'd done it, but we're starting in the sidebar. So I just put my full box down at the top and then a habit tracker with a this week section, which I don't normally have, but I've got a lot to cram in this week. And then at the bottom there, I'm just putting a to organize because there's a few areas I want to organize before the big day. So my battery ran out. I didn't realize it was that low. So all you missed we put was that I wanted to upload this plan with me. And then I put a quarter box down with one of the Christmas poppets from the kit because I want to put the Christmas decorations up. Finally, because we've been decorating, I just haven't been able to do it. I put a full box down and then I just put my to-do header with another half box because I seriously need to sit down and wrap presents for like seven hours. So that's what I'm going to be doing mostly today. I put a little page flag at the bottom and reminded myself to take some tape because I'm going to be going down to my mum and dad's house to wrap all my presents because that's where I've been hiding them because my kids will find them if they're anywhere here. So for Tuesday, it's the last day of school, they break up, so I just used a Love Heart Poppet. And then the first coffee sticker is from Paper Chic Co. And I'll leave her link in the description box. I can't talk today, I'm really sorry. I then put a to clean header, I've got a mountain of cleaning to do before Christmas, so I will fill those in later. I put a today header down for Wednesday, I need to write my Christmas food shop list, I need to catch up with laundry and then put all of the clean clothes away. I need to try and get everything done before Christmas. I don't know why I always leave it till the last week but here we are again. I also need to pack my last shop orders so they will be posted out on Wednesday and then I just put a full box down and oh, I need to finish wrapping on Wednesday because I know I'm not going to get it all done today and then I just want to chill out and watch a Christmas film while I'm wrapping up because you know you have to do that at Christmas. So for Thursday I put down a today header and I'll be doing my big online shop apart from obviously fresh vegetables and fruits and things I will do that the weekend so I just put a short to buy list under because I know there'll be a few things that I want to jot down so I don't forget I also need to seriously sort through the children's toy boxes because they're already overflowing and Christmas is nearly here so for Friday it's my partner's last day at work and we will just be chilling out and having lots of family time I haven't decided whether I'm going to film a plan with me next week. I have put it in my planner. If I do, obviously it won't be up on Monday because that's Christmas day, but you may get one next week or you may not. But I'm going to be prepping a few things like my fresh food list, my shopping bags, and yes, I have to remind myself to take my purse because, you know, I've forgotten it once or twice. So for the weekend, I'm just using the wide washi as a background behind my weekend banner. And then I'm going to be putting a half box down with a little sad puppet because I'm going to be getting up early to go and do the food shop. So last year, I think it was, I got up at five in the morning so I could beat the insane rush. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And then obviously housework. I like to try and keep Christmas Eve free because we have lots of traditions and lots of things that we always do. So I'm trying to put it all in on Saturday. So we normally start off Christmas Eve with a little chill out hour <laughs> and then it kind of goes a bit insane really. We start baking in the morning and it takes pretty much all day. I'm not going to lie, it's hard baking with three children. Um, but we always bake on Christmas Eve and we always make the same things. And then I will do a quick tidy up while the children are having their bath. And one tradition that we've been doing 
probably for about 10 years is watching the snowman on Christmas Eve with popcorn and hot chocolate and then they always want me to read Twas the Night Before Christmas. I thought as they were going to get older these traditions were going to kind of fall off but nope they are still wanting that. Now I'm just adding the deco that's left that I didn't use which is only a few bits there isn't that many and I put the little stockings at the top to look like they were hanging off of my planner. So that was it really for this spread. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you have a really, really lovely Christmas and New Year. Hopefully I'll see you next week, but if not, then I will see you in the new year. And in my new planner, I'm so excited. So I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.